right. Uh, so this movie chart is Movie Fanatic. Dot com's top movies for Valentine's Day. Coming in at number five, The Constant Gardener. Ray Fiennes goes across the globe to find out what became of his beloved wife, played by Rachel Weisz. Uh, yeah, it's silly. What? There's, Why is that silly? Because there's if most people fall in love with someone who's on the same general area as they're in. But you can always find someone in your locale is what I'm trying to say. It's hard in L.A. You guys can both attest to that. If you're looking. If you're not looking, it's not hard. Okay, let's go around. Are you looking? No. Are you looking? No. You can't be looking because you live here. It's too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He's right. It's, it's way too hard. See? Uh, coming in at number four... Moonstruck. The film will always be known for its unforgettable quotes, including Loretta, who Cher played. Uh, his unforgettable one is, snap out of it. Snap out of snap it. Snap out of it. The fact that Nick Cage is at the other end of that verbal slap doing his best clueless Italian New Yorker with the most heartfelt of intentions. He took my hand. Lincoln? Lincoln? No, this is Nick Cage. Oh, okay. He took my hand. My brother Johnny took my hand. At the middle, coming in at number three. Number three. Love Actually. Colin Firth, we got Liam Neeson, Emma Thompson. Okay, uh, so it's a British film. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of people in it. All right. What have they done this so lately? What's the best thing the Brits have done lately? Um, Has it been a movie? Skyfall? Okay. The so Olympics? I just want to tell you guys that he wrote British and circled it. Moving on to number two, John Cusack in Say Anything. Besides announcing kickboxing as the sport of the future, Say Anything is the classic romance movie that is standing the test of time. And who could forget the boombox scene? You ever do something like that? A grand gesture for love? Crane bone. In real life? Yeah, bro. Not in a script. I bought the menace some shoes. Were they... Really nice shoes, or yeah, they were they were nice. She we had been walking through a store, and she said she liked them, and I took a mental note of it. She couldn't believe I got the size right. <laughs> <laughs> I was proud of that too. Coming in at number one. Number, number one. one. Ten things I hate about you. What's good about it, Koo? Um, ah, it's fun, and there's tension. Oh, jeez. What? It's fun and there's tension. What? What? what it's a rom-com. Teens. Oh, okay. Set in high school. I mean, what more? Is that what you like about it? Yeah, I mean, it's Taming of the Shrew. It's Shakespeare, yeah. so you got great source material. Mm -hmm. And then it just had an awesome cast, along with those people you mentioned. Also a young Joseph Gordon-Levitt. JGL. Also wow. a young David Crumholtz. Ooh, Dave Crumholtz. So, like, we're talking nice. Could be good. Yeah. All right, I'll check it out. You can write it in your notes? Oh, yes. Do you have room in your love notes? I, what is it called? L no, not love actually. Ten things I like about you. <laughs> Hate about Hate you. Hate about you. Hate about you. Let's summate. In summation. Oh, in summation? Uh, say anything. Can't top it. Say anything. Yeah. Yeah. I like love actually. I love ten things I hate about you. I, I'm kind of on the fence. How about you? Those last three are all great. Yeah. Those last three are all solid. Flawless. Good job, moviefanatic.com. Good job, movies.